one of the things I like about the Phantom 4, well, like previous models, is just the quick uh, pack up and go. So I finished flying. I'm going to take off my, again, just push down gently and then twist according to the mark direction. And these props come right off. I like the, uh, the new way that the props mount or attach rather. It's really nice. Feels a lot better than having to sit there and twist and wonder if you twist it too much or not enough. Not that I ever had a problem with the Phantom 2, uh, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus or the, uh, or the Phantom 1, but this is just a lot more intuitive. You know that you're, uh, that you've got it on, pro well, you assume you've got it on properly according to the, to the way that it tightens. Again, they give you this nice little prop sack. It's a great thing to stick your props in. I didn't remove the, the nipple plastic from the others. I keep those as spares. That way I know since they've got the plastic on them, they haven't been used, so they're not damaged in any way. I don't want to break these props. I definitely want to get a, a quick disconnect prop guard set as soon as it becomes available. Uh, what's really convenient here is uh, this new camera guard that came with it. Super convenient. It's very straightforward. That was one of my complaints with the uh, with the Phantom 3 Pro is that the little camera guard it would often just fall off in your case. And it this one works well. They did it right. They listened to fan feedback. Because I know I was one that was really voicing my opinions about the about the Phantom 3 Pro uh, camera guard. It was a joke. I mean, why? Why cheapen up on something like that? Come on, you know? They definitely didn't cheapen up with this, but I, I will say the price, at least at the time of launch, the price of this Phantom 4, in my opinion, is too high. Um, not saying it's not worth it. I mean, I am addicted. I mean, I'm literally addicted to, uh, to the Phantom series. I'm not married to the Phantom series. Again, GoPro Karma is coming out. Uh, that's going to be a great uh, drone. So I'm not married to Phantom in any way. But I love Phantom. It performs well. It hasn't let me down. I think this controller, although very similar to the Phantom 3 Pro, and a viewer had commented about this. A viewer said, hey, this, this piece that holds your tablet or your smartphone, it's a lot more sturdy. And it definitely is. It feels, like, it feels to be a much better, uh, much better build quality. Uh, a little sticker I left on my controller says, Smart Mode Switch, refer to user guide before use. Huh. Oh, okay, that was just covering up some various modes. I was, I've was i been flying in P mode. P is in uh, Paul. This little case they give you, again, I, I kind of laugh at it because it looks like something you might get mail order steak in. But it is cool from the perspective that, well, it comes with it. I wouldn't say it's free because the, the price of this thing is definitely a premium price. But it um, it works. Obviously not waterproof, not ruggedized, but it works. It's a Again, that's another reason I like the Phantom series. It's a small form factor. I mean, it's big, but it's not as big as, a, as an Inspire, or Unique, or... Or something like that because if you're like me when you're when you're flying your drone you've probably got other gear I mean I'm filming this video I've got this camera I've got a bunch of stuff and I don't want I, I was well, not that I want to I just I can't afford to lug it around myself or have my film crew lug, lug everything around because it's just too much stuff so for that reason the size of the Phantom and that's that's true to Phantom 1 Phantom 2 Phantom 2 Vision Plus, Phantom 3 Professional, and now the Phantom 4. It's, it's a good size. Not too small, not too big. We've seen too small. We've seen Bebop. Parrot Bebop. I wanted so much more from the Parrot Bebop, but it just didn't deliver. The camera performance was subpar. Uh, the flight dynamics were subpar. And when you paired the controller with it, it was ridiculously bulky. It negated the the, the fact that the that the Parrot Bebop itself was small. And then they came out with Parrot Bebop 2. It's basically the same drone, I think, with a different battery. And I, and I hate to say that. I wanted more. But, uh, yeah, Phantom 3 
or I'm sorry, Phantom 4, I'm super impressed. And again, I keep it, I keep it on the reel. And is this worth upgrading to? The only reason I would say it would be worth upgrading, if money's not an issue, upgrade. Because it is better. It's the best drone on the market today. But is it significantly better than the Phantom 3 Pro, which can likely be found at a lower price? In my opinion, it's not. Because what are you getting with this? Let's see, active track so far, and you can check out my field test. Maybe it'll get better. I've been extremely underwhelmed with the performance of active track. So let's say that feature doesn't exist. You're getting 4K. Well, you're getting 4K 30 with this. You're getting 4K 30 with the Phantom 3 Pro. So there's no camera advantage here. There are design advantages. Again, the, uh, the build quality of the Phantom, of the Phantom 4, seems to be the best yet. And the fact that under the underbelly, you don't have the little spongy things holding the camera gimbal on, that's just one less thing to lose or become damaged. So from a uh, design perspective, it's definitely superior. But is that worth someone that already has a Phantom 3 Pro upgrading to Phantom 4? In my opinion, it's not. But if you don't have a drone, I would definitely consider Phantom 4 over the Phantom 3 Pro. But I would not recommend upgrading from Phantom 3 Pro to Phantom 4. There's just, at least with this initial model of Phantom 4, there's just not enough, there's not enough new tech to make it worthwhile in my opinion. But, uh, I, and I'm not bashing the Phantom 4. The Phantom 4 is great, without a doubt. I'm convinced already it's the best drone on the market today. But I'm just saying from a cost perspective, I don't feel that it's, that it's necessarily, uh, you know, you know your own budget, Money's not an issue, go for it. If you don't have a drone, go for it. But if you already have a Phantom 3 Professional, there's no incentive, in my opinion, to upgrade. There's small incentives, as I've mentioned, but nothing, uh, nothing significant enough to justify that huge price difference, in my opinion. So thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash irixgy. I've got thousands more DJI Phantom videos coming soon. I got GoPro Karma. I got everything coming. So, you know, subscribe, share, give me a like, uh, share your feedback. Follow me on Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash irixgy. Share it with the world. And I appreciate y'all's viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all, irixgy here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership, and y'all have a good day.